Guys, UFC 284 is upon us, and we are finally going to find out who the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world really is. If you're a fight fan, then our show sponsor, DraftKings, has an incredible offer to all new customers. Sign up for DraftKings using my promo code SUNNEN. Bet at least $5 on UFC 284 and you'll instantly get $200 in bonus bets deposited straight to your account. Wondering how you could use $200 in bonus bets? Try out same game parlays. DraftKings is the only sports book that allows you to parlay multiple picks on the same fight. If mobile sports betting is not available yet in your state, don't worry, you can still get in the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers, use the promo code SUN and bet $5 on any UFC 284 match, and you're going to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SUN and only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Volkanovsky and Islam. Both weighed in on the announcement of McGregor versus Chandler, not only for Ultimate Fighter, but go on and have a contest between them. Now, I got to jump in on this. I have a big problem, and I have always had a big problem, with Connor and Chandler fighting at 170 because it feels lazy to me. And not only does it feel lazy, I'm quite sure that I'm right. Would you like to work hard and go at 155? Would you like to work hard but not as hard and go at 170? I mean, it's kind of a straightforward question. And I also thought it was a mistake for Connor to say 170, only in this regard. Okay, he's bigger than he's ever been. We understand that. So why would he want to go all the way down? But what he's missing, I'm talking about McGregor. He's not doing two a days. He's not in training camp. He's not going to be that big for long. It's going to come back down. And a lot of times making weight is a byproduct. I mean, do you know how hard the fight between Chad Mendes and Conor McGregor was? Because I don't think that you do. I've never heard anybody talk about it. I've had to hear a lot about those front kicks. That's not one the fight. What won the fight is when Chad took Conor down in the center of that ring and Conor got up. Three times. That's what's won the fight. But do you know how hard you have to work to get away from Chad Mendes? NCAA finalist? Do you have any idea how hard you have to work to not be taken down by Money Mendes over and over? And Connor did. He did. And one of the reasons he could dig that deep and he could push so hard, even though he didn't get credit for it, is he had to cut all that weight and it got him in shape. He was one of those guys, those extra runs, those extra bikes. Some of that nutrition, the extra rest, that actually served him. A byproduct of that was he was in fantastic shape. So I, I only argue for it that I don't love the idea they're going to go 70 because I think it's lazy. And Dana came out and said they're not. So I don't know where that turns at. Dana came out yesterday and said that is a false report. They are not going 170. They are going 155. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I've done three pieces on this since it was announced on Saturday. Right, I'm heading to Bellator when I get this announcement. I'm in the car and I bring you guys a video. I've done two since then. And every one of them, I had to talk about the weight. And Dana had to come out and do a press conference. He's got a world title fight, two of them, in fact, this weekend. And he's talking about the ultimate fighter, a non-title, non-number one contender match that doesn't even have a date or a venue or an on sale. That's how important it is. That, it's that important that Dana had to use that time to clarify and make sure you knew that it was 155. I like that. It's, it matters. It really does matter. So now that we know it's 55, we have the potential 55-pound champions speaking in on what they think of that. And like the suckers that they are, they, of course, will fight Connor. Now, Islam, guys, is a heel. Islam has the potential to be a heel. Now, that's only because he's got attitude and an incredible sense of humor. He will be smiling as he's putting you down, but he'll put you down nonetheless. And it's very hard to find guys from that region that want to do that. It's not the same argument I make for the bullet. 
Like, I, I think the bullet, contrary to what, I think she might have some character issues. I don't think she's who you think she is. And I think she'd just come out and reveal it to the world, like John Jones had to do when he finally started selling some t-shirts. This is a little bit different. Makhlchev has a very playful sense of humor, and he also sees the advantages to it. And he's not into walking around and bowing and patting you on the back and doing this stuff. He's just not. So there's something authentic about it. He said, if Chandler gets beat, it'll probably be his last fight. He's going to make a bunch of money, and the UFC's got to release him at some point for losing all the fights that he does. Okay, that, that is a scathing and nasty, nasty line. He then comes in and talks about Conor McGregor, both ways of it. If Conor wins, he's done. He can't beat anybody. If he finds the one guy he can beat, he's done. He's got to walk away. If he loses, of course he's done. Can't pay a guy this much money who hadn't won a fight in six years. He was straightforward, but it was scathing. Oh, it was terrible. He put these guys down. It was terrible. It was beautiful. Now, he never once said that he'd be there to fight him because it was a big money day. Oh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of money. He never did any of that. Volk did. Volk fell for it. The problem with Volk and what he said, Volk said that he, he'll be there to welcome Connor back. The, the problem with what Volk did is he said, I'll be there to welcome Connor back. Now, there'd be no problem. It wouldn't be tantalizing. It wouldn't be doing some great numbers or something. There just wouldn't be a problem. There'd be no problem if he said, I'll fight the winner. The hedge of the bet, right, is to take on the winner, not the money fight. So that's what you hedge. I will take on the winner. I will defend against the winner. Now you've got it, right? You guys ever see politicians run for office and they'll come out and they'll tell you and they got to convince you as well. You haven't voted for him for president unless he has convinced you, not just said it. They all say it. You got to convince you. It's not for the power. This is not about me. I am one of you and I'm doing this for you. There's not a word of that that has ever been true all the way back to the reluctant leader, George Washington. But they got to convince you that it is. There is nobody that's looking to fight Conor McGregor except that wants a payday and some attention and to have some fun. Okay, great. For whatever reason, that just doesn't draw. That just doesn't sell. So you've got to hide it behind something else. Which is where I will take on the winner. Whoever comes out of that. Would have been a better answer for you. Now, I really want somebody to get a hold of Islam. Uh, you know, Daniel Cormier has got a little bit of that in him, right? I, I couldn't call Daniel a heel, but he's got a little bit of that in him. And even if it's playful, but it's insults, it's still insults, right? It, it's still a very different approach than we've seen for a lot of the community that is tuning to see us on fight. I think it would work. I think they're ready for it. I think they would love it. I know that I do. I know the most interesting thing that Islam has done is put a smirk as he looks at Volkanovsky. I mean, he is so dismissing. He is so condescending towards Volkanovsky, the number one ranked guy in the world who's never lost. There is an arrogance that is palpable, and it's gross. And aside from that smirk he puts on his face, he told him he was short. I can't remember the short joke. Do you guys can see the language was bad? But he called him, I, th I think he looked around. I think Volk was standing in front of him, and Islam looked, said, where did he go? Oh, he's so short. Right? It was it was gold. It was brilliant. No one laughed. No one supported it. He's not doing more. You got to get him over there. You got to get him over there. He wants to do it. He needs that level of encouragement. If you're Volkanovsky, and you want Connor, because you want the money. You got to hide it. And the way to hide it is to just say, whoever wins, I will compete with.